the son of two Iranian parents that left their country around the devolution of 1979. Someone who is using music to better understand humanity, to better understand various cultures and how at the end of the day, whether we come from different parts of the world, we do share a lot of similarities. My experience in Kosovo has been incredible. The people, the buzz, the energy has been very warm and kind. And perhaps there is not so much of a need to be so apologetic for maybe there's not a concert hall, maybe there's not an opera house. That doesn't matter because there's a heart and there's a desire and there's a, a, a hunger for culture. There's a hunger for connection. What Rame has been doing with this festival, which I believe should be supported further, continue to support from the local governments, federal governments, foreign governments, you know, um, and from our colleagues, our community around the world, we can come and support. It's not to say that a city is nothing without an opera house or a concert hall. That's, that's not true at all. But given Kosovo's experience of fighting for the freedom of expression, fighting for the ability to live fully. A, a venue or a opera or singing is, is... Singing is in many ways the expression, the, the personification of free expression. Well, I, I have to say that I'm very touched to be invited at this festival, particularly with the theme of this year, Opera for Freedom. I come not wearing a suit, I have to say, <laughs> wearing a t-shirt, um, but it's, it's because the messaging is, is important. And I come to represent Woman Life Freedom is the movement taking place in Iran. It's a revolution that has been brewing since 1979, really. Of course, there are many, many, many ways to support, but one would be, for example, on these shirts that we are wearing for the concert and I'm wearing right now, there's a QR code and I'm sure we'll make it readily available for your audience. And when you scan it, there are resources that come to explain the situation. That what, what has been achieved is, is something that should be constantly celebrated and never forgotten, of course one that should be protected. I would say protected with kindness, with generosity to your people, your environment, to your neighbor, to continue to be a ambassador for freedom and human rights for all, in all parts of the world.